of the Avalon Medical School and the faculty members of the Medical School. Distinguished guests, friends and family of the graduating class, and most important of all, you, the graduating class, Avalon 2013. I want to thank you very much for giving me this opportunity to share my thoughts on this beautiful, gorgeous day, and such an important day in your lives. As all of us, sometime today, earlier, were getting ready to come here, we all looked at ourselves in a mirror. Some of us briefly, some of us a little longer, and maybe some of us for a very long time. And what we saw when we looked at ourselves in the mirror is who we are today, how we look today. That is what the mirror showed us. But if we had taken time to look a little more, that mirror probably could reflect what we will be like in years to come, in decades to come. And that is what I want to look at. Medicine, physician that you all are, will be very soon. Through this glass, through the looking glass, A for today, as you graduate, but equally important or more important over the years, what you will do, what you all will be able to accomplish. A physician is an extremely important person in society. Each and every one of you has become that very special person. You have been fortunate that in the years to come, thousands of people will rely on you for their health, for their happiness, and wish you well because of what you have been able to do for them. It has been about 40 years since I took the oath for the very first time. And of course, I took it again with my son when he graduated and definitely will be joining you all today to take the oath again. And to this day, so many, many years have gone by, I still am in awe of that honor that I have been able to have as a physician and which you will all be having very soon. With that special position that you have in society also comes certain amount of responsibility. And each and every one of you must remember that as you move along, this special place that you have in society comes with that responsibility. And make sure that you meet that challenge day in and day out. Some of you, mainly the family, the parents, and our generation, maybe remember a TV show called MASH, where Alan Alda played the role of the MD in that TV series, MASH. My favorite line in that TV show was when Alan Alda would say, the head bone is connected to the heart bone and make sure that these two bones always remain connected and they never separate. Your patient that you will be seeing very soon has a medical condition. That is why he or she is there to see you. But remember, that patient is not a number. That patient is a human being. Cultivate that art of being able to talk with your patients. Spend that extra five seconds, 10 seconds, maybe 30 seconds with that patient of yours. Something on a personal basis, obviously appropriate. And you will realize that that is extremely important. 
in the early phases of your practice, <coughs> it will be the patient sharing their stories with you. But over years, it will be you who will be telling stories of your child, of your children, of your grandchildren, sharing those stories. In the years that you have been in medical school, you all have been taught, and I'm sure extremely well, the science of medicine. That science needs to be coupled with the art of medicine. And when you do both, the science and the art of medicine, it will take you a long way. Be always personable. That is important in medicine. You are a professional every single moment of the day. It is daunting for you to realize that's what you are. Days can be very challenging. Some days on the home front, some days with your professional colleagues, and some days all other challenges could all come, and sometimes all at the same time. But remember that when that hand of yours goes on the doorknob and you walk into the patient's room, your personal life is behind you, and what you are is a professional every single time every single day as your hand goes on the doorknob. It is daunting to think that is how you're going to conduct yourself. But remember, that is how it is for every profession. And for us, this is the only profession that we know. So you need to be professional every single day. And as our Chancellor said in his opening remarks, you need to be always current with your knowledge. Your education, the wonderful education you've had over the last four years and more, is not all over. It is a solid foundation, a wonderful foundation. You need to build on that on a continual, constant basis. You need to be current so that you're always treating your patient with the latest guidelines. Be personable, be professional, and always be current and state-of-the-art. Today, I thought I would just focus on two issues. The challenges that we all face in medicine and some of the paradigm shifts that have occurred in medicine. Every generation faces its own challenges. The landscape, when Chancellor Fateh and myself went into medicine, is very different than what it is today. You need to know what the landscape is. You need to know the various forces that are in play. That is the difference between somebody who takes charge in control of somebody who just goes along. So you do need to know where we are in medicine today and what the changes will be for you in the next decade and the decades to come. <clears throat> Unsustainable cost of healthcare. That is today's reality. I'm sure even in medical schools you would be taught or heard about how expensive it is to deliver health care in this country and maybe in the world. And here we have to balance in the right way, appropriately, giving good, adequate, state-of-the-art medical care on the one hand, and on the other hand, being aware of what the cost factor is. The public's demand, the patient's demand, that they get more from the dollars that they have spent on health care, on their insurance. That is the current landscape. Our payers, our various insurances, are expecting you, me, and all of us to have demonstrable results of how our patients are doing. That is the current landscape. And the whole concept of fee-for-service is being revisited. 
these are some of our challenges. These are some of the changes we will see on the fiscal side. And look at on the medical side. We have a mounting epidemic of chronic unremitting disease, something that will be your responsibility tomorrow on and for decades to come. We have healthcare disparities, both in terms of access and in terms of the health itself.